we run this initiative called Menstrupedia, which is about spreading awareness about menstruation. Um, uh, I take care of the user uh, experience part where uh, we, uh, we take care that how the information has to be given in which form to the young girls so that it is easier and entertaining for them to understand. And I take care of the visual communication design part and also the storytelling part. So uh, the essential information about menstruation, how to tell it through stories and uh, how to create illustrations to communicate you know, important concepts without uh, say without stigmatizing the, the phenomenon without uh, keeping the taboo nature of the subject in mind. Uh, Menstruation started when we were studying in colleges. We are pursuing a post graduation course in 2009, and uh, during our college days, we fell in love with each other. It is then that. I came to know of the inconvenience that Aditi goes through every month due to her periods. And I, I also realized that my mother had kept uh, you know, menstruation as a phenomenon, a secret from me and my brother. Uh, and for me, menstruation was just like another topic in the biology book. So uh, also I came to know of the various restrictive customs around menstruation and that was very shocking to me. So what I did, I read about uh, menstruation on the internet and I shared some basic facts about it with Aditi and it turned out that there were a lot of basic facts that she herself did okay, and it is then that we realized that we being so well educated were so ill informed about this uh, essential body process which happens every month then there would be millions of girls out there who would be ill informed too and that's uh, very detrimental to uh, you know, their self-esteem because they are vulnerable uh, to these social restrictive customs and they are vulnerable to the unhygienic menstrual practices. So we took up a year-long research project while we were still students uh, at the National Institute of Design to study the awareness about uh, menstruation in school-going girls in urban and semi-urban region. And uh, we found out that uh, most of the girls when they get their first period are of the age 10 to 11 and this time they are in either class 6 or class 7 but our educational curriculum does not teach girls about their bodies until they are in class 9. Also the way it is dealt with in, the, in school, it is dealt in a purely academic fashion without dealing with the practical aspects of menstruation. And uh, since there is an inherent, inherent shame associated with the subject, uh, parents and teachers feel it inconvenient uh, and hesitant to talk about it and they often you know, skip the entire subject uh, it is not addressed in school. It is not addressed at home, and due to the uh, in due to due to the lack of proper educational material and information, it is the mainstream myth that passes from one generation to other generation. So uh, uh, we decided to uh, we decided to come up with a communication strategy which could which could reduce this shame so that people could talk about it uh, to their daughters and also to their students, and that is why we decided to collect all the stories and come up with the comic book. Yeah, so uh, when during our research we had gathered many stories around menstruation, mm -hmm. stories, experiences around menstruation, and we found that uh, these stories made girls curious about, about this process. It uh, helped uh, young girls gain information. It helped them uh, you know, learn, it, it, it helped them learn about menstruation. And we wanted to use these stories to teach about menstruation. So we created a comic book where we have cartoon characters that enact these stories to teach about menstruation in as much interesting way as possible. So whenever we, uh, we try to do something or something meaningful with our life, we see that uh, what would our family say or what would the society say or I don't have enough funds or enough resources. But all these constraints are uh, are not the uh, are not the determining factor. The only the only person who stops yourself from doing something is you. So believe in yourself. Go ahead and make things happen. Yeah. And also, uh, if you if you if you if you are determined to do something new, you are bound to fail many times in the beginning. So you have to be prepared to embrace failures because they are the only way to success. And failures are important lessons that you have to learn 
that empowers you to you know, achieve your goal in a way that nobody else can.